Together, let's draw the Lewis structure of lithium nitride. Now, lithium is an alkali metal. Remember, anything to the left of the staircase of metalloids is usually a metal. Hydrogen is the only exception. Lithium is definitely a metal. And nitrogen is to the right of the staircase. It is a non-metal. When metals and non-metals combine, they form ionic compounds. That means the metals are going to give their electrons away to the non-metal. So lithium in group one that means it brings one valence electron with it. So there we go, the one outer shell electron. Nitrogen is in group 15. The atoms in that group bring five valence electrons with them. See how, there, like there's a five there. I know it says 15, but there's five there. Five valence electrons, great. Now again, Metals give their electrons away to nonmetals, and nonmetals want a full outer shell. That means eight electrons, octet rule. Huh? So lithium, this lithium can generously give one electron away to nitrogen. Now nitrogen has six electrons in its outer shell, which is closer to eight, but it's still not a full eight. Where is it going to get the other ones? Well, we could add a second lithium in there, we could say it donates its electron as well. Now nitrogen has seven. We still need one more. We're going to need to build in another lithium. Now that nitrogen has a full eight electrons, but it required three lithiums to give up one electron each. So to complete our Lewis structure, we're going to draw the N with a full eight electrons around it. That's nice and stable full octet, but three electrons more than it had originally, so it has a minus three charge. The square brackets here indicate that it's an ion with a charge of any kind. Now, three lithiums, each of those lithiums had one electron around it, but now they have none, so draw no dots around it, and a plus one charge. That means they lost a negatively charged electron. You need to do that three times. Maybe you put one to the left, one to the right, and one below to show that the lithiums are surrounding that nitrogen. Now this actually makes a repeating crystal, but this is the Lewis structure for a single unit of lithium nitride. Some teachers are going to allow you to take the shortcut of writing three times Li plus one instead of rewriting the Li three times. But if that's the case, you still have to write the N with the minus three charge. Cool. This is my preferred Lewis structure for Li3N. Some teachers will accept this. And this here was just me showing you why you need three lithiums. Speaking of which, the formula for lithium nitride is Li3N, which tells me you need three lithiums to bond with a single nitrogen. It's what the formula says, and it's true. Best of luck to you.